Yeah. I'm busting Matt's balls because he f***ing, you know, hangs out at scum whole f***ing bars in Elkton, Maryland. And he goes, don't listen to him, Tyler. Eric grew up in Garnet Valley in the hills of f***ing rich Pennsylvania. He doesn't know a good time. Basically, cam. Um, it's not getting heads. It's getting valve springs. It has headers. It's getting a cords, five-inch intake, uh, ported blower from uh, Kong, uh, meth fuel system, and then a touch. Okay. It also, uh, I believe, is getting our uh, our expansion tank as well. Yeah. That's it. And a lower pool. What were you saying, Matt? I said about a mullet. But I don't think you got the weenies. I do not. I don't think I could do a mullet. If you do decide to get it cut, can like she cut it into a mullet first and then like we can see what it looks like. Yeah. And give you some like sweet fade on the side. Oh my god. Uh that yeah, probably at that point. I mean, if I'm gonna go like, if I'm gonna go short again, then yeah, probably. But you might like it. Cause it, the mul I might like the mullet for the yeah, five seconds that I have it. Sick, dude. <laughs> yeah, we'll so see. Did I? Uh, yeah. Anyway, a dollar short as usual. Sure, wish I filmed that. Well, I was like filming uh, dino runs yesterday all afternoon, so that would explain why I wasn't here for this. And then I was editing. Any more excuses you like to throw at me on a Wednesday morning? On a Wednesday? I don't know. My dog died. Uh... Don't even joke about that. What's wrong with you? <laughs> you said any more excuses? Piece of shit. I was gonna give you a laundry list. Say something like my dog ate my camera. Not my do Why would you ever? My say dog that? chewed through my uh, mic wire. How about that? That sound that better? So I, do, I had to stop at cameras and things and buy something. You need to stop at cameras and things and get a new camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean it's new, but like not the newest version because it's yeah, sold, not it's new sold to out. You. That's for sure. Not new to you. It's new to me. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I'm buying that. No? Kyle, uh, what do you think? I'm thinking that thing's going scratch and dent. Scratch and dent? You the guy went to the second hand store and just picked it up? <laughs> I think you hit that open box on when you walk into Best Buy. <laughs> Alright. How's this coming along, Kyle? Good. You getting tired of him resting you, but I am a little bit, yeah. I'll admit. Sorry to walk away. Like <laughs> getting much work with. Yeah. Okay, just gotta put the uh, headers through and slap the heads on. Get this thing all wrapped up today. This was getting uh, stage three. Stage three, yeah. That's can. Headers and take. So what does this ZF6 have to do? This thing actually came here blown up. It dropped a valve or something. And I guess was sitting for months. And he bought the engine out of the red Z06 that we're doing the F1X on. This is basically a stock LS7 with our head's cam package on it that was in the red car. We obviously put a whole new engine in that, so we pulled the engine out of that, sold it to this guy, he shipped his car here, put the motor in, get him back on the road. So it's just basically a stage three Z06, but we obviously don't have a baseline because it was blown up.
forgot this thing probably has like year old 91 octane gas in it too because it's from california i don't even know if they have 93 anywhere out there and this car sat for like a while before he shipped it to us Generally, our packages will make like maybe 10 or 15 more than this for like a stage three, but I'm guessing that's why it's only making 600 because it's got 91 in it. Just buttoning some stuff up. Put the air ram on and it's done. Dang. Yeah. Putting the beauty covers back on. Yeah, the beauty covers. Got any idea on what do you think this thing's gonna make? Easily like six. Six? Yeah, they, they tend to make right around six, give or take. Just reassembling everything right now. Doing a bear ram and it's done. Well, I mean, it's the same head, just new valve springs, um, cams installed, all that good stuff. About to torque the heads down here soon. We'll get the clutch on, get it back in the car. That'll be sweet. It's like you with that headlamp you wear. <laughs> Dumbass. Huh? I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. What were you saying yesterday about how you didn't like it? I can't de deal with this light anymore. I can't do it. I need a regular light. Any big plans this weekend? No, not really. Don't don't take her to anywhere <laughs> he wants to go. Because it'll be some shithole dive bar in the middle of Elton, Maryland. That's where he'll take you. No offense to anybody in Elton, Maryland, but the place is Mako's, pretty scummy. <laughs> I don't know if you didn't include me in that hey, one. Hey, Bill! <laughs> you need to get over here in this conversation. Yeah, I'm from the world. I'm from, like, yeah, from kind of the middle of nowhere, but, like, in the nice dive. part. Yeah, there's a lot of dive bars by me, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm busting match balls because he, fucking, you know, hangs out at scum hole fucking bars in Elton, Maryland. And he goes, don't listen to him, Tyler. Eric grew up in Garnet Valley in the hills of Rich, Pennsylvania. He doesn't know a good time. Matt's never been to Duffer's Pub on a no, Friday exactly. night. Duffer's 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 Duffer's. Matt would fit in at Duffer's. Yeah, he would, exactly. Yeah. He'd fit in better at the mill, but you know. Probably, yeah. Not the pub. <laughs> or the tavern. Yeah, the tavern would be a pub him. Yeah. I'd just be, he yeah. wouldn't be fitting in there. They'd be like, nah, we don't want your kind. Yeah, yeah. we don't like your kind. <laughs> The pub, would, he'd fit in at the pub, but I think he'd do better down at the mill. Oh, he won't understand it. The mill is his crowd, I think. Yeah. Poor Matt. Don't poor Matt me. He's upset now. Poor old Hilltop. Yeah, the old Hilltop, because he goes to the Hilltop near his house. Yeah. The old Hilltop would definitely fit Matt. Yep. Biker bar. Yeah. The Sundance Saloon in Aston would fit him too. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> and it sucks because you, like, Fran and I were actually just talking about this. Fran and I were just talking about this when we were in Utah. Mackenzie's, you go in there and you can only get their beer. It sucks. And it's, 
And the reason... You can't get no bush lights there. Yeah, you can't get no fucking bush lights there. <laughs> you know, I tell you what, it's been... Six hours? No, it's Six hours. It's honestly been... I haven't been drunk. Oh, I was going to say, because you sent me a Snapchat of you drinking a beer last night, you're like, fine. Yeah, exactly. I had one beer last night. So six hours. I had yeah, one beer last night. Only because you ran out. No. You just told me you didn't sleep last night. Because you didn't have the alcohol in you. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm getting hammered tonight and I sleep great. <laughs> Didn't all get it at once, but it's a full stage five at this point. Yeah, 16 pounds of boost. It still was fat too. It was like 11 to 1. I used to run these things like around 12. Dude, like 12 0. Problem is, the high side maxes out though. Yeah. That's the issue. Like, it's plenty capable of making more power, but it doesn't have enough high side fuel. Didn't we put big meth jets in this too? Yeah. Maybe that's why. Nah, it. Because duty cycles at like 31, but we don't have a ton more to go. I mean, granted, it does have 32% E in it because it came full E, but even the, the E is adding like one and a half degrees of timing. So at 32%. So it's adding some there, but I mean, still, I, I assume that was his goal, was 1,000 is my guess. I didn't think it would pick up that much power from last pull to this pull. Picked up. 70, 73. <laughs> I added like three degrees of timing. Not even. Yeah, I added three degrees of timing. Yeah, I did. Problem is, I don't know how much more E it's going to be able to take. What's it on right now? Like 32? 32. And I, I, I don't know if it's honestly going to be able to take anymore because duty cycle is at like 33 now, and that's like basically just about getting to like the limit of where these things like on the high side will allow it to go like 40 is dead max so but it seems like much over like 35 um, it's not the best either so it's like I don't know how much gas is in this thing I might splash like maybe another gallon or two in it but the problem is I don't think it'll make any more power I mean 
it's making a thousand twenty six right now and it's on like just about 19 pounds like very peak it's got like a little less than a half a tank I don't know maybe I'll put like two gallons in it and maybe try and get it up to like 40 percent but it's probably going to be as much as we can run but like I said I think his goal was a thousand so yeah, so just trying to find like a happy like point for the fuel system to I just want to make sure that it can't it can't keep up with it or... like we go as far as we can go and yeah. then I tell him like you can't have more than 40 percent E in it like it tells you how much E on the gauge yeah. so he'll know in his head that he can't go any more than 40 or whatever number I tell him so I just want to try and find that limit but it's probably not going to be any more than 40 percent for sure but that's how most of these are like all yeah. our stage fives on the Camaros that make around this power you can only go so far E. Duty cycle went up like two there, so it's at like 34, 35 now, so I... I mean, 1,040 is basically like, that's generally what these packages make all the time. Like in between 1,020 and I think the highest one we've done is like at almost 1,070, like 1,068. Um, but some of those are with more boost. I mean, some of them make it, like this thing's stout for what it is. Some of them don't make that unless it's on like 22 or 23 pounds. Like sometimes when we take the air filter off, they'll make that. But with like air filter yeah. on, they'll only make like nine. 7980 uh but this thing's fucking stout so what like do they the other systems like just have a bigger pulley on them or is that no we, we do the same setup on same on, setup? on everything it's literally like the exact same thing on all of them. it's just yeah. a different car some cars make more some cars make less i mean it could be as much as like one wheel is heavier than the other one and that kills 15 20 horsepower or whatever like it's just a dyno you know yeah. what i mean a lot of people like read too far into that shit but yeah like I saw a question on the YouTube the other day, like what what is the difference between all these stock cars that they make like different numbers? It's, it's all mechanical, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it, it just is what it is. Some make more than others. It's just the way the world turns, you know? Why is one tomato weigh more than a another tomato? I mean, it's fucking, <laughs> this, this is a fucking tomato. Like, I, I don't know, there's no way to explain it. It just, they're all different. What are you working on right now exactly? Like trying to reconnect, uh... Just the engine mounts, or did you already do that a while ago? The engine mounts are on. I'm just you know, bolting up shit to the block that needs to be there that I took off to get the engine out. Mm -hmm. Yep. Look no further. You found him. There you just got the engine installed, all the mounts connected, about to put the headers in. Back to the Pontiac again. Yes sir, back, back to the Pontiac. Putting the intake in, got the supercharger mounted from last video. Moving right along my friend. You got a wide band gauge there. Boost pressure. Well, boost. It's boost pressure, wide band, air flow ratio, and then we're doing a uh, boost pressure gauge. Okay, so he's getting a whole whole bunch of stuff in there. Three gauges. Is he in a like a, a pillar setup or what? No, he's got that trim piece. I brought it out. It's, it replaces the center dash that goes around the um, 
radio uh -huh. stuff like that and it gauges sit right up top oh okay oh so kind of kind of similar to like so you just take the old one off yeah put the new one back in and then you run well you run all your wires and take the old one off mm -hmm. put the gauges in boom is that isn't that how like a lot of the corvettes are they have them like in the center of the dash or... no i mean there's people put on their utility gauges there's gauges yeah. that sit on the steering column <laughs> gauges on the dash. I mean, you, there's a bunch of different companies that do different things. Yeah. Yeah, my car is like that. It's in the, it's right on the top of the radio. Yeah, Nissan's always do that. Yeah. It's just, it's convenient, but I mean. Um, yep, I just got our stage two package. Basically just headers and a VRM and a cam package. It'll make through an auto, I want to say 480, but that may be high. But I'll stick with 480. Yes. Yeah, it'll probably end up making like we're at 475 ish. Because the tune was pretty close, honestly. But yeah, it was pretty close. Nah, yeah. I'm gonna make one or two more, but it'll probably end up around right at 480 probably. If you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow us on our social medias. We'll see you in the next one.